I have several 10 plus acre parcels that I've been trying to sell in the fifteen to twenty thousand dollar range on Facebook. Okay. I'm considering using a realtor to list on MLS at a ten percent commission. I can make approximately seventy percent greater than seventy percent yield. What are your thoughts? So fifteen to twenty thousand dollar range on Facebook. So are you trying to sell these cash on Facebook, or uh, Dave? Are you are you listing these on terms, and what terms do you have? Um, and so on. So that'd be my initial questions. I mean, there's nothing How wrong. How long have you been marketing them? Another right. question. Nothing wrong with working with a realtor, but I wouldn't want to work with them in a situation where it's exclusive and you couldn't sell it yourself and some realtors may not work in that regard. So I don't know. I'd like to know what you're listing it for first. Yeah. Do you want a cash sale? Uh, are you listing? Yes, cash. He wants a cash deal. So. Yeah, I mean, you could... Cash sales are hard to force, you know. The terms deal is where the velocity is at, but they do come. So um, obviously a realtor is going to be more in line with a cash sale. But, you know, I I would use every, you know, avenue of marketing from uh, Landmoto, some of the other land sites, uh, Craigslist, Facebook. You know, if it's if it's truly, um, you know, is that below market value, that 15000 Because if you're competing against other properties, for a cash sale, you want to come in lower than they are, so you have to make sure that you're pricing it accordingly and so on and so forth, or it's not going to move that quickly either. The term right. sales is what moves our property the quickest, and I understand the value in a cash sale. I really do, but it's hard to force that. Um, they do come, um, but the term sales are, are much quicker. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think in our business it's, it's 80-20, terms versus cash, sometimes 90, 10 terms versus cash, depending on time of the year or whatever. Um, you know, Scott Todd always says you can't dictate what the market wants. So, you know, I guess I would ask you, Dave, is there a way that you can finance these where you can get your money out in a year? I mean, you get your money out in a year on a deal like that. That's an amazing deal, right? Your, your yield's going to be Yeah, we've high. done that. We sell, I know you have two, Scott, same as cash one year. Um, yeah. And you look at the return on that, it's pretty sick. You know, maybe you could do it for less than 15. Um, you know, but again, it's, you know, uh, you have to decide what you're looking to accomplish. Right. And I would just say one other thing, and that is, uh, I would call that a, a, a large sized dolphin. Wouldn't you, Mike? No, just a dolphin. I wouldn't add the word large just size a dolphin. to it. <laughs> so in our business day, we, Mike and I, Mike, this is Mike's, uh, I'm going to give you all the credit, but I talk Mike about it all the time Mike now. Mike I, get, I talk about it all the time. In our business, there are minnows, dolphins, and whales, and we buy a lot of minnows. Why? Because they move really quick. They move really fast. We buy them, and they sell in 30 days. That's another analogy. I like that. The minnows are quick. They're quick, dude. You can't catch them in your hand. They're gone before you know, you know what's it. good about a minnow? It's like, and like I was talking to someone the other day about the deals that I sell, and I was like, yeah, hit singles all day long. All day long, yeah. hit singles. You know, um, you don't have to hit a home run. You don't have to hit a grand slam. You don't have to even get on second base. Hit singles all day long, little deals, and they pile up so quick. But it's a micro environment that we're in when it comes to other types of real estate, if you compare it to houses and whatnot. So, when we say minnows, dolphins, and whales, that's relatively speaking. So a minnow would be anything up to like a three thousand dollar purchase. When then you're in like three to like ten or something, you might be a yeah. dolphin. You get above that, you're in a whale. Um, so you're in a dolphin range right there. Which, but dolphins do make some crazy good term sales. Crazy, yeah, they do. like a five thousand can be a twenty five, thirty thousand dollar term sale. But it's a matter of if you can support that, right? How quick do you need that capital back, and uh, what's your monthly payments going to be, and so on. Yeah, awesome. What are your capital restraints? That's the way yeah. to say it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think, you know, the, the minnows fuel the business for me. Um, it's the bread and butter. I just had one today. I purchased the property for $1,200. Uh, this one took a little bit longer to sell. We purchased it two months ago for $1,200. Mm -hmm. uh, sold it today for... Uh, 149 dock fee and 99 down so 249 
Um, and then 99 a month for 60 months. So 99 a month. So we're getting our money out in uh, what, 10 months? Yep. And then after that is profit. Now, you know, that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you rinse and repeat, and that's what it's all about, rinse and I, repeat. Yeah, look at you take one to three, two to six, you know, these little deals, your yield is, is over 130 when you, when you do these little one to three, thousand to three thousand, to a hundred dollars a month, 30 months, do them, do them as many times as you can. Right. Boom, 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 boom. But now again, we, what this whole stemmed from the question of should you work with a realtor? That's an internal decision with your business model and what you want to do. But I think that what we're talking about is that, you know, it's hard to force a cash sale. There's a lot more buyers out there willing to pay terms. And there's a lot more money in the terms because right. so you can extend those payments out. So, But it, you may need to get that money back now because you may not have a lot of capital by other properties and you may have put them into these properties. So who knows? Everybody's different. I and mean, Maybe that's not the case. But if it's not the case, then I would be like, Man, picked it up for five thousand. I'd like to get a couple grand down or so, two or three grand down, and, and get like a five hundred dollar payment for, and come out with like twenty five, thirty thousand on that. I think that would be a, a huge, huge uh, score. Uh, Jason Mendoza has a good point. Why not sell the note if you get terms? So consider selling it on terms Beautiful. and sell the note. Jason Mendoza, nice to see you. Jason Mendoza for the win. For the win. So, uh, Jason, you're you're really active on Facebook, dude. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you've had a win, throw it up there. But I see your properties all over the place, so that's all good. Are you spying on his properties? Yeah. Some might believe that's the case from the way you just said that. I'm Facebook stalking him. Are you spying his inventory? <laughs> Watch out, Jason. I heard it. Watch out, oh, Jason. Yeah. I'm coming after you. <laughs> 